Here's a real question. Do you really want to be associated with Rings of Power? Give me the meat and give it to me raw. On Thursday, September 1st, 2022, the first two episodes of the Amazon's The Rings of Power series were released, and the whole world threw up in response. <laughs> its release created almost a tidal wave of hate towards Amazon from for taking the ideal in high fantasy and turning it into a fan fiction novel with all the skill of a 14-year-old author. It was almost a cultural moment how many people actually despise this show. And to this day, anyone who watched it could have problems explaining to you what exactly happened in said show. There is a tempest in me. Since then, articles have come out trying to defend, trying to defend it, trying to hide it, people who claim to have loved it, and yet it keeps dying a death after death after death. This most recent L, aside from Amazon Studios being sued for a horse dying on the set of Rings of Power, is almost poetic in its absurdity. Amazon sued over Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power copyright infringement. A fanfic author is suing Amazon for ripping off his Lord of the Rings fan fiction. It needs to be said, however, that it is more than likely a frivolous lawsuit that will not get anywhere. But the original question remains, does the author who's bringing the lawsuit really want to be associated with the cultural equivalent of a giant middle finger? An unnamed author of a totally completely not plagiarized book setting has come forward to claim ownership of the garbage fire known as Rings of Power, stating that a book he delivered to the Tolkien Society and Tolkien's grandson in 2017 was the show that was seen on screen. While this would explain the ability of the writers of the show, I am in the uh, press X to doubt camp. Word to the wise, my guy, in this instance, probably better to have stayed silent and not brought more scrutiny. But even fan fiction authors require their day in court. Hell, they got Capone on tax evasion. Now, let's talk about the book in question itself. Normally, when copying a paper, one would change more than just the order of the words or the titles. This book, however, is called The Fellowship of the King. Real brain tickler how he got that title there. It follows the elven lord Celebrimbor and Narvi, who created the Rings of Power, which were corrupted by the evil Lord Sauron. Dude, the leech you could have done is named them Oron, so that I could laugh like a little weeb that I am. Alongside this cataclysmic conflagration, the reed also is following the daughter of one, Samwise Gamgee. Samwise the Brave. The least you could have done is included gained off the buff, but hey, I'm just a uh, intelligent meathead. Swells the goal, size the prize. Who is dealing with her own drama and further hobbit friends who go on adventures to defeat Morgoth. Literally just took a bunch of lore, rearranged the words, and then published it. And it was $12. Total bargain though, I really needed some kindling for my fire pit out back. I am not a lawyer, but as I do play a lawyer on television, I am going to dole you out some just professional advice completely free. When stealing someone's stuff, it is a really good idea to not sue the person who you stole from. You are so stupid. Usually, it is a uh, better to lay low. Considering who you stole it from, I would suggest hiding it underneath your porch. The Tolkien estate is not to be trifled with. It's rare that I actually see a one-star rating on quite literally anything. You managed to do the impossible. Tolkien wanted people to expand his works. This requires skill. From what I have seen, you still have some work to do. I realize that means little coming from one as untalented as myself, but I do try to come up with some unique works and get them down on paper. I just wish I could, you know, read my own handwriting. How badly that's written out. The author of this badly penned mess decided that not only was he going to go after the Tolkien Society, he was going to get his just desserts and go after the multi-billion dollar company Amazon. I believe in you, you know, stand up to the man. Also, hire every lawyer that you can because you are opening a can of worms, my friend, that you are never going to be able to put back on the shelf. In this metaphor, in case you missed it, you are these worms and you deliberately put yourself on the hook. Hope you can swim and uh, hope that Amazon isn't hungry. Even if the details are similar in Rings of Power to, I hesitate to call it a book, you have to get past the very large barrier known as you straight up took characters that were written over 50 years ago and made them the main characters in your work and no one made any comment about it. So you decided that the best course of action would be to go after the people who created the characters that you're using and then bring this up in open court to try and get the same amount of money that they got for the rights to Rings of Power. Just combining all these little details into this one amazing mess that you have found yourself into is really looking bad for this particular author. From a personal standpoint, 
The author had what I am looking for, which is an out into creativity for a living. And then they decided to go after one of the largest companies in the world, accused them of stealing, and then thought that he was going to get away from this. Any particular option that this author had to write another book and, you know, get it published is officially zero now because everyone knows your name. That's the beautiful thing about the court system is that once you actually bring it up into the public, your name is out there and not in a good way. The author has killed every single chance that they might have. You're fired. They fell for the idol. It's green and it lights on fire very easily. I will watch this unfold with eager anticipation, hoping for a court TV case that's bigger than OJ. Unfortunately, it will probably end with a whimper and no, long, and no longer be any fun. At least until season two and George R.R. Martin sues Amazon for his copyright and violence. If you agree with me that this is an incredibly ridiculous amount of time wasting, then go ahead and leave a comment down below of what you actually believe and how you think that this is gonna go, aside from just completely off the rails and not really fun. If it were to go to open court, I would be very, very excited to give me something to do and watch. Also, while you're down there, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like and subscribe button down there. It is completely free and I will try not to bother you with it too much. I hope you have yourselves a great rest of the week. Go ahead and be on the lookout for any news pertaining to this, okay?